guys, welcome back to another episode of Fly Die Fridays. I'm your host, Vernon Dees. Today, we have a special guest here at the Group Fly offices and studio. My great friend, master barber, master craftsman, Philip Fitzgerald, man. Welcome, Phil. Thank you for being here today. Vernon, thank you so much for having me, No bro. doubt. It's a pleasure. Listen, you guys don't want to miss this episode. Subscribe to the YouTube page. Like the video. We'll see you back here in a moment. Hey, I'm a mind sitting and I'm fine with mine. Hey. Lost it. Seldom do we ever think about what it cost it. Oh, Seven thanks. Thank you for amazing grace. Speak your truth every day. And then, and then, and then, hey, something, 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 hey, and then, and then, hey, hey, so many things fade away. Eee. Okay, guys, so we're back again. Um, Listen, today, as promised, I'm bringing in some of my close friends uh, that that are just masters of what they do. So, Phil, I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you them a quick snapshot. So, he started Fitzgerald Barber Supply in 2013. Um, really took that area to the next level, I believe. Thank you. You know, um, you know, maybe you guys have seen his. Um, I, I call it I call it a uh, a, 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 a monument on 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 12th and Penn, but it's the uh, mint color building, always a line out the door, great service, amazing atmosphere. But uh, you know, one thing I love about Phil is, man, he's so, um, so into the details and, and, and so um, just excellent at what he does. And man, I'm, I'm a fan of you as a businessman, as an artesian, as a craftsman, you know, as a family guy, uh, you know, he's got an amazing son, amazing wife. Um, but, you know, Phil, today, we want to hear your story, man, because it's dynamic. Um, maybe you've seen his, uh, if you're in OKC, you've seen that, that Royal Riley Blue uh, Subaru kitted out. We're going to, you probably saw a little bit in the uh, the intro video. But, Phil, uh, give us your story, man. How, give, me, give me the vision behind Fitzgerald Barber Supply, which was rated number one by Yelp, Thank you. By, yes. by, 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 by the people. Yes, by That's the people. That's real. By the people. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thanks again for having me, Vern. No doubt. A quick snapshot of Fitzgerald's. We started in 2013. Dope. And just striving to really bring a traditional yet modern experience to the right. modern man and woman as well. Um, it's a family environment, of course. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we just strive to really, really serve our clientele with a lot of passion, a lot of conviction in what yeah. we do. Um, we respect the craft. And it takes care of us because we respect it and uh, we just love to serve that's really what it's all about we love to serve we love to pour into our clients we love treating guys like princes and kings that they are you know as children of God so we no love to serve that's what we're here for is to serve that's amazing that's a, now, now, now you see why I rolled this guy it's quite evident all right Phil now you know when you're in the barbershop, it's one of the most electrifying places to be because the conversation, <laughs> the conversation is top notch. The service is quality. The atmosphere is amazing. And so, um, what I want you to do, man, I want you to give me. Let, let, let's just raise that thing. Give me two things to leave with. Um, like if, if, if a creative is just starting out on, on the craft or an entrepreneur has got that burning passion on the inside like we once did and they're launching out to start a business, give, us two, yeah, yeah. give us two things that, that, that to leave with the people. Okay. Um, first thing is first, you have to write down your goals. I love it. It's a law. You know, you have to write them down. You have to write them down. The 3% that take the time to write them down is going to earn 10 times more than the other percentage that didn't write them down. And not only do you have to write them down, but you have to have deadlines on those goals. Good. Underneath each goal, you should write three mini goals on how you're going to accomplish that one goal. And you, you, my Aunt Jackie always says you, you make your plan and then you work your plan. I love it. You got to work your plan. I love that. And you got to stay on top of it. Um, it's not just going to be handed to you. You have to work really hard and diligently. And if it's keeping you up at night and you're losing sleep over it, then you should want to pour that much into it. Because if you've got an idea that's just burning a, a hole into you, then you've got to act on that. And the first step is to write it down. And that's so good. That's so good. That's so good. As far as the second thing, I would just say grind, grind, grind. Never be comfortable. 
Um, being comfortable is a really dangerous place to be at in life in general. So you never want to get too comfortable, whether it's behind your chair or whether it's in a boutique or whether it's, you know, making a taco in a truck on the side of the road. So you good, never want to be too comfortable. You always need to be like, okay, we have to find better ways to serve. We have to find better ways to connect. We have to find stronger relationships. We have to build stronger interactions and connections, you know. Um, just keep on grinding. Never, never give up. Nothing is impossible. All That's things true. are possible through Christ. If he is indeed your your strength and your refuge, he's mine. I know he's yours. Yeah, no doubt. Um, so we're able to say those things and really and really see it manifest because right. that's where we're drawing that help from. So if that vision has been put inside of you, it's basically already done. Right. It has been done. I love it. You just have to do it. Um, and it sounds so cliche, but write everything down and then just never give up. That's yeah. that laws. is the key. That's the key. Well, and I, save, you know. You got to have some cash to be able to get things going. So save, save what you can towards that, you know. A little bit adds up. Just keep saving. And then one day you'll say, hey, I think I'm ready to make a move on this, whether it be a property or yeah. whether it be, you know, a storefront or a web idea or just whatever it may be, a service, you know. Maybe you're thinking outside of the box and you've got an idea that nobody's done. That's good. Whether it's dog grooming or whether it's making you know, some treats. I don't know. I mean, people do, this is America. People come up with all sorts of ideas. You know, they make gourmet dog treats. Ladies a millionaire in oh, Oklahoma. Dog treats. Bro. In Oklahoma. Homemade dog treats. But there's a clientele for that and she serves them and she serves them well. So. Absolutely. Man, Phil, how can we, um, you know, if, 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 if we're looking for your service to get great quality haircuts, uh, how, how can we get a hold of you? Fitzgerald's Barber and Supply is located at 1204 North Pennsylvania Avenue. That's on North Penn. Yes. We're right next door to Muse Art in Studio 12. Shout out to the Strip. <laughs> Nick's Grill is right across the street. Icon. Yeah. Who done Landmark. Nick's Burger, you know. Um, the Mint Green Building with the EF9 Honda in front or EF9. the kit or, 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 or the like the Mini Transformer Subaru car. Amazing. Thank you. Um, also, at Fitzgerald's OKC, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Yelp. Just look up Fitzgerald's Barber and Supply on Yelp. Check us out. Look at our reviews. Look at our photos. See if it'll be a good fit for you. Come through. Let us serve you. Amazing. Amazing, guys. Well, we'll see you guys next week. Don't forget, uh, this, this week we got a new website coming out. Also, market calendars for February 17th. We're going to have a grand opening at the store. Nice. More merch, more fire, more life. All right. Fly Die, we'll see you next week, man. Phil, appreciate you coming out. Thank Take you, your time sir. out, man. Thank I appreciate, appreciate it so much. Appreciate you. Fly or Die, guys. <laughs>